Hi YouTube, back to basic scale here, sharing with you a homemade onion soup mix recipe, just like the Lipton's onion soup mix. Anyway, without all the chemical compounds, the hydrogenated soybean oil, the MSG, the corn syrup, and all of these other things it has, like disodium, guanidate, uh, sodium dioxide, uh, and Anyway, uh, this is pretty straightforward what we're going to put in here. We're going to start out with three quarter cup of instant minced onion, and you want the small um, cut onion, dehydrated. I used about 20 of these, a uh, little beef bouillon. You can use any kind you want. If you want to buy the uh, grass fed, whatever, you're going to need one third cup of the powdered bouillon. And you're going to need one quarter teaspoon of celery seed, not salt, celery seed. I will put the recipe at the end of the video for you. And this is four teaspoons of onion powder. I just take my minced onions, I use my mortar and pestle, and I, you know, make it into powder. So you're going to need uh, four teaspoons of the onion powder. And I use baker sugar for this because it's so fine. Um, you're going to need one quarter teaspoon. You can use cane sugar if you'd like, um, but the, I find that this has doesn't have the the large granules. Anyway, you're going to want to mix this up real well. This is my second batch, and I realized I did not make a video on this. So, and this tastes just like the real thing. I use this in meatloaf. I make onion uh, dip for potato chips. I use this in a lot of different things. Anyway, it's real simple to make. Uh, it lasts about six, about six to eight months. Um, that's about as long as it lasts a double recipe in my household anyway. Um, since it's, uh, you know, homemade, I'm not real sure how much longer than that it lasts. Um, but that's about how long I get out of a double batch. It's about six months. Sometimes less, sometimes more. Depends on what I'm making. But on the... Uh, on the back, I always put what it is, five tablespoons equals a one and a quarter ounce package. So you can follow your recipes. I label the front and uh, store it in my spice cabinet. Anyway, this is Back to Basics Gal. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thanks so much for stopping by.